Hello everybody, thank you very much for joining me for another Alfred Hitchcock Presents Review. Today I will be talking about Season 3, Episode 11, The Deadly, starring Phyllis Thaxter as Margot and Lee Phillips as Jack. And this is a solid episode overall, in my opinion. The plot is a little bit different than any other plot that's been done on the show so far. And the episode is strange in a few places. There's a few strange plot elements that, at least for me, were a little hard to buy into. But Phyllis Thaxter's excellent performance uh, did make the episode very solid and watchable for me. And the episode so does go into some interesting places when you consider the time when it aired on television. So... We start with our main character, Margo, and she's talking to a group of other ladies. And then she goes over to one specifically, Anne, who it seems like is troubled about something, might be having some marital problems. We'll find out more about that as the episode goes on. So after that, Margo meets up with her husband, and they just chat. And it's brought up at one point that there might be some plumbing issues in the house. So Margot's husband says you should probably call the plumber because he couldn't really figure out what was wrong or fix it. So in the next scene, the plumber comes over and his name is Jack. And he kind of starts talking strangely. He doesn't really talk about plumbing. He compliments Margot on her house and her kitchen. Talks about her husband's income. Probably not the normal conversation starters that a plumber would have. Uh, he doesn't even seem too worried about what's wrong in the house. So after he goes downstairs, he comes back and tells Margo he has to go upstairs as part of the job. So at this point, she was already concerned. Margo's starting to get even more concerned. Phyllis Daxter did a really good job, very believable uh, acting in the scene of a lady that thinks this guy might be up to uh, some mischievous things, which he is. So Margo eventually goes upstairs to see what's going on and Jack uh, compliments her on a painting, on drapes, all kinds of other things that once again have nothing to do with plumbing. So eventually they talk more and Margo gets around to asking what it's going to cost. And Jack says uh, $500. He says he thinks something like that's what the job is worth. Basically, he tries to blackmail Margo at this point. He says he'll tell everyone that they were together upstairs and he knows all these personal details which will back him up which I'm not really sure is enough proof to really prove anything but I guess he figures he'll just scare her if nothing else. We also learn that Jack's been doing this to other women in the neighborhood including Anne so now we know why this lady from the beginning of the episode was troubled and it turns out he's been making a lot of money off this. He also tells Margot things like if she doesn't go along with it he'll along with this that he'll fake an injury. Again what proof would he have? I'm not really sure, but he basically tells her she has till tomorrow to get him this money he wants, like $500. Again, it's kind of hard to believe he's been getting away with this for this long, but I guess if you just go with it, it's not too bad of a plot point. So at this point, Margo decides she's not going to go along with it. The next day, she calls the police. Uh, she doesn't tell her husband about it, which is interesting, which comes back into play at the end of the episode. She basically tells the police that she's been blackmailed. So an officer comes over. She tells him the story. He waits for Jack to come and ask for the money. But when Jack comes by, he figures out that someone is there waiting to trick him. So he basically plays it off like nothing really happened. He changes his story basically from the day before when the officer confronts him and, you know, tells him what Margot accused him of. Jack denies it all. So Jack leaves and the officer tells Margot, there's no real evidence. It's your word against his. Maybe if you get some more witnesses, we could do something about this. So Margot basically has a plan. She calls all these other women over, uh, some of whom have already been blackmailed by Jack it turns out. So when Jack comes by the next day to get his money, all these ladies are there. And Jack at first doesn't want to go along with what the ladies want him to do, but eventually he has to give up when Margot threatens to call the police again. It turns out the ladies want all their money back. Of course, Jack doesn't have all this money, so he has to agree to do all these ladies' repairs on their houses for them. So basically, Jack gets what's coming to him, and all these women are empowered. Kind of an interesting direction for the plot to go in, especially considering when this episode was made. But my question... uh. Here is, how did all these women just suddenly decide to go along with this if they were afraid to before? Was it because they're all together, because Margot talked to them? We're not really sure. It seemed like a little bit of a plot contrivance, but uh, nothing too bad. I bought into it well enough. Other opinions may vary, but it was a little strange. And then we get a scene at the end of the episode where Margot tells her husband 
there was basically no charge for any of this, uh, which was kind of a funny little thing at the end. Although I will say the last few minutes of this episode, the women kind of argue about who should get Jack's services first. And Margot's scene with her husband did seem a little strange in tone. The episode was pretty serious and then got humorous at the end. But overall, it works fine. And like I said, I always enjoy Phyllis Daxter's performances. On the show, she always does an excellent job. And all the acting is solid all the way around. So I'm going to give The Deadly a 3 out of 5. I do think this is a solid, if a little bit, flawed episode. And I do recommend it. It's an interesting episode that's different from other episodes of the show. And I feel like fans will enjoy it. So 3 out of 5 for The Deadly. And as always, thank you very much for watching.